Hi, welcome to Sue Marie P. My name's Sue, and today I'm going to share black rice. What is black rice and how to cook it? So I've been buying black rice in a box like this, and it's not wild rice, it's something totally different. So this box costs 51.95 krona or sec here in Sweden, and that's equivalent to 518 US. 720 Australian dollars or 454 euros. So it's not as cheap as basmati or white rice or jasmine rice, but it's really high in lots of nutrients. I first discovered it here in a poke bowl or a salad bowl at one of the cafes. Um, they served it with lots of greens and you could have like the options of vegan meats or um, salmon or chicken. And it was really delicious. So I thought maybe I'll start buying it and cooking it, cooking cooking with it at home. So it's very black or purple in colour and it kind of tastes a little bit like brown rice. It's a little bit kind of crunchier and nuttier than like a soft white rice. But let me just give you a little bit of history about black rice. I've told you about the, the nuttiness and it's also known as forbidden rice. I've just got some notes here. Um, so why is it called forbidden rice? Well, over 9,000 years ago in China, it was only eaten by the royalty, like the emperors and the common people weren't allowed to eat it because it was just considered unique and nutritious and so it was forbidden for everyone except royalty um, in China and parts of Asia. And it's called black rice because it's like a black purple in colour and that's due to the pigment called, if I can say this correct, anthocyanin, anthocyanin which is the same dark purple colour that you get in the berries like blueberries and blackberries which is really good for you. Uh, so the benefits of black rice, so it's higher in protein than red, white and brown rice. It's a great source of iron, it's high in fibre, it's rich in antioxidants and it contains that anthocyanin which I mentioned it's in like the blueberries and also in purple potatoes. Um, and I'll pop some notes below and where I've got my research from. So let's cook the black rice and I'll show you how it's done. So I've been experimenting and I've got a few tips. So the first thing is I'm going to measure out a cup of black rice. And I'm going to rinse it to remove some of the starches in some cold water. So I'm just going to use tap water and a sieve. So that was a quick rinse. Now I'm going to measure out two and a half cups of cold water and then we're going to add that to our pot to boil. So let me just turn on my induction hob. So I'm going to add the water to my pot. And let's pop the rice in. I'm just going to add in a pinch of salt. And it's good just to keep an eye on it and stir it every now and then so it doesn't stick to the bottom. We need to bring it to the boil, then I'll reduce it slightly. We need to boil it for about 35 to 40 minutes. It will still have a slightly chewier taste than a white fluffy rice, but then it'll be perfect. So I'll let it boil away. We still have about 13 minutes on the clock and my water's almost disappeared, so I'm just going to add another quarter of a cup. So if that happens to you at home, depending on how quick you're boiling it and the stove top you're using, this little portable induction hob boils a bit quicker than the other stove top over there. So I just didn't want it to stick on the bottom. Our time is just about to go off, so I'm going to turn my heat off. Now there's still a little bit of moisture in the pot, but what I like to do to ensure I have a fluffy rice is I take it off the heat, pop it here on a little pot holder and put the lid on and let it rest for about 10 minutes. Doesn't that look light and beautiful and fluffy? So let me just do a little taste test. Mm. So I think you'd describe it as al dente. So the black rice still has like a little crunch to it, but it's soft. Now I've been experimenting two ways. I've done a blackberry or blueberry rice pudding that's not too sweet and that's absolutely delicious. We've had it for dessert and for breakfast. And I've also done a miso with black bean and mushrooms savory dish, kind of like a, a stir fry. So 
I'll pop some photos above of those two dishes and hopefully I'll share one of those very soon. Let me know in the comments below which one you'd prefer to see first. Do you want to see the savoury black rice pudding or if you want to see, sorry, yeah, that's right. If you want to see the savoury black rice pudding with mushrooms and black beans or if you'd like to see the sweet black rice pudding with blackberries or blueberries. Hope you've enjoyed this video on how to cook black rice and what black rice is and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Oh, don't forget, hit the like and subscribe below. Oh, I should have mentioned as well, once it's cool, store it in the fridge for three to five days in an airtight container and you can pop it in the freezer and just portion it out into serving sizes and in the freezer it lasts about I think three to six months. I haven't really eaten it from the freezer yet because we always just eat it. So I hope that's helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye.